Okay, so this is a tutorial for how to use the impedance analyzer. So I've got this HP 4192A impedance analyzer. Um, we switch it on here, so it's already switched on. Um, switch on the computer here, give it a while to boot up. Uh, the software is this software here. Double click this, you should see this software come up. Um, there's some manuals here about how to use this, so um, you should be able to get these online. Uh, so if you Google this, I think they're available um, maybe off the HP website. Um, but if you go to this page, uh, there's a good description about the measurements that we're doing. So uh, this is the connection that we've got. So we've got high current, high potential, low potential, low current. And they're connected together. You can see that here. Now those two pairs are connected together. And then these feed into the probes that connect to the device. So, so that's the connection to the probes that then connect to this DET device under test. Um, so there's, there's a good description here about how it's working. So we've got the, the currents uh, forcing a current through the device and then uh, the, the voltage is measuring the voltage and it's, uh, it's oscillating as well. So this is how we get the impedance measurement. So once this is all connected up, so it's the same as the previous video on IV measurements, just left it connected. Um, it should come up with the correct instrument address. You can hear, check here, which is uh, 17. Uh, here we've got a sweep range. So this is the range of frequencies that it sweeps. So I always just do the full range from five Hertz to 13 megahertz. Uh, this is a spot frequency measurement, so this is just telling you what the impedance is at particular frequency, so you can change that and get an instantaneous measurement. So that's basically just sweeping down this graph here that I've already made. Um, this is the circuit, so we probably want to use series here. So we've probably got, uh, basically, this device is just a resistor, which is in series. Uh, the display function, this is on ZY, so Z for impedance. And then we get the, the phase angle. Um, I'll put that in degrees. So once that's set up, then you just click sweep. And it should start sweeping on a log scale. see this doing something sweeping through the different frequencies. So what this should do in the, the low-ish frequencies, we should basically have the, uh, the resistance of, of this device as a resistor if we were doing uh, a continuous voltage measurement. So resistance is probably somewhere here, and probably a few hundred ohms. And as we increase the frequency, impedance ramps up, which is what we'd expect for this being just behaving just as a resistor. And then we can also see the phase doing doing something. Um, once you've got the data hit save and then you can create your own folder and, and save your data with the appropriate name.